Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my dad, Emeritus Professor Charles Griffiths. He's an expert in marine biology and has found a ton of new species. And together, we're going to explore the shore. Here we've got another type of star starfish, the tiny little cushion star. So here the arms are extremely short and the animal has just more or less a pentagonal or circular shape. They're very, very common actually, but you tend not to notice them because they're so perfectly disguised against the background. They all seem to have like a very unique pattern to them. Yes, the each individual has a very unique pattern. And one of the interesting things that we don't understand is that all the ones on the west coast from Cape Point westwards are green and all the ones on the south coast from False Bay eastwards have this, this mottled pattern. Although the mottling is very unique between each individual. But again, when I, if I turn the animal over, you kind of reveal the typical starfish structure and you can see the five rows of tube feet going out from the central mouth. And these guys are herbivorous. So they avert the stomach through the mouth there and then press it onto the rocks and then just digest the algae on the surface of the rocks. So if we look in this pool here, look, there are a whole lot of them on the bottom here, probably feeding on this encrusting algae on the rock here. Some, some of them are really very difficult to see. So if we pick one up and turn it over and take a quick look at it. Yeah, this one, see the stomach there is like a little plastic bag, gradually pulling it back into the mouth. So that's the stomach that was pressed out against the rock. Actually we've got two different types of cushion star that we're getting on the rocks here. We have the little tiny dwarf cushion star. It actually lays eggs that are attached to the undersides of rocks, which hatch directly into little baby starfish. And then we've got the granular cushion star. That's a slightly bigger animal. It's usually purple or pinky in color. And this breeds in a quite different way. It's more conventional in that it makes eggs and sperm into the water, which combine and form larvae, which float around in the plankton and then settle and turn into little baby starfish. Okay, so they're broadcast spawners like the predatory starfish. That's and other right. Starfish. And another interesting thing is, if, of course, if you look at them under the microscope, then the reproductive openings of the dwarf cushion star are on the underside because it has to lay eggs onto the rock surface. Whereas the reproductive openings of the granular cushion star are on its back because it spawns its eggs and sperm into the water. So that's the most uh, scientific way of telling the difference between the two species. Well, the little dwarf, these little dwarf cushion stars actually lay little clusters of yellow eggs. Very unusual for starfish to do that. And then they'll sit on the rocks here and we don't actually know how long they take to develop, but perhaps two or three weeks. And then they'll hatch out without a larval stage directly into tiny little starfish. In fact, if you, if you look at this rock here, you can actually see the tiny little newly hatched starfish here. Minute guys, just like their mums and dads, but only a few millimeters across. And these will just grow to the adult size over a period of maybe a year or so.